Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of Serona Connect. In this video, we'll be demonstrating the scan strategy with an Atlantis IOFlow. We've entered a new patient and selected the implant restoration type in the administration phase under Indications. Under Design Mode, we can choose between a screw retained or cemented restoration. In our example, we'll take the cemented option. We determine the position in the odontogram and move on to the next step, selecting the scan body type. A window opens with a list of implant manufacturers. We specify the corresponding manufacturer and a second window opens with a list of different tie bases. As we want to show you the scan strategy for ordering an Atlantis abutment, we choose the option Other. The step of selecting the scan body type is now marked in green and we move on to the next step, selecting the material. We choose zirconium oxide and move on to the next optional step, selecting the final shade. Determine the shade guide and the shade color and finally confirm with OK. Your choice now appears in the case details window. Click on the double arrow to move on to the next phase and start the scanning process. As this is an implant case, the Serona Connect software automatically creates four image catalogs. The upper jaw and the scan body upper image catalogs, which are marked with an exclamation point, are mandatory scans and must be executed before moving on to the model phase. First of all, we scan the quadrant where the implant restoration has been placed. In our case, it's the image catalog upper jaw, and the Serona Connect software shows this automatically by highlighting the appropriate catalog below. Remove the gingiva former and carry out the scan without using the IO flow. In this situation, the gingiva is scanned, which has an influence on the emergence profile when, in the next step, the restoration is designed. We start occlusally with the most distal tooth, scan palately at a 45 degree angle from distal to mesial, swivel the camera by another 45 degrees, and scan from mesial to distal at a 90 degree angle. Next, we'll scan occlusally from distal to mesial. When we reach mesial point, we guide the camera towards the buckle, and scan to distal direction at a 45 degree angle. When we reach the last tooth distally, we tilt the camera by another 45 degrees and scan to mesial at a 90 degree angle. Then we check the scan, particularly in the area of our implant, and close any gaps by tilting the camera. Since this tutorial focuses on the scan strategy for an implant including the use of an Atlantis IOFlow, we will not proceed in the recommended sequence. We'll skip the scan of the lower jaw and buccal bite and switch directly to the image catalog scan body upper. For this scan, an IOFlow that corresponds to the implant type must be screwed onto the implant. Next, we'll show you a short video on how to do this. The IO flow is inserted into the implant, and once the correct position has been verified, the scan post is screwed in hand tight using a suitable screwdriver. We start the scanning process by clicking on the image catalog Scan Body Upper. We start the scan in the area of the neighboring teeth of the implant restoration in order to make the matching of the image catalogs as smooth as possible. Next, we direct the Omnicam towards the buckle and scan over the IO flow. Make sure that the sphere of the IO flow and its flattened area, in our case palatal, is fully scanned. 
As soon as you have ensured that the mentioned areas have been fully scanned, you can continue. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with Serona Connect.